Review of Anatomy and Physiology of Female Reproductive System and Fetal Development. This is your second unit of OBG and from this chapter you will get 7 marks. One question is for 5 marks and one question is for 2 marks. First you will learn about female pelvic. Before learning it, if you learn the diagram, it will be very useful. Now, female pelvic is in basin in shape. And when you compare the female pelvic and the male pelvic, Female pelvic is bit wider. It's because female pelvic is used in the process of delivery, giving birth to the baby. So, female pelvic is wider than the male pelvis. Now, in functions, the very common thing of pelvic is used in running and walking and sitting. It's common in both male and female. It's used in running, walking and sitting. But when it comes to female, especially pelvic is used in carrying the baby. Next, in pelvic region, there are many vital organs like reproductive organs, bladder and rectum. All these organs are protected by the pelvic bone and it supports the spinal cord to stay in its position, to not get collapsed from its structure. Pelvic transmits the weight from the leg to the upper body part. These are the functions of pelvic. It's generally used in running, walking and sitting. And next it is used in carrying the baby. Next it is used in protecting the vital organs like reproductive organs, bladder and rectum. Again it supports the spinal cord, transmits the weight from lower body part to upper body part. Bones of pelvic are actually divided into four bones. Those are two innominated bones. These are called two innominated bones. One sacrum. And this small part is called coccyx. Innominated bones, sacrum and coccyx. This innominated bone is actually divided into three parts. This innominated bone is actually divided into three parts. This upper part from until here is called ileum. And this yellow color, this part is called ichium. And this pink color, this part is called pubix. Ilium, Ichium, Pubis. These are the three parts of innominated bones. When it comes to sacrum, five fused vertebrae combine together to form sacrum. And four fused vertebrae combine together to form coccyx. In innominated bone, Ilium is the part which covers majority of the area. So it is a large fretted out part. From in this, a concave inner surface. This is concave inner surface. And this surface is called iliac fossa. This concave inner surface is called iliac fossa. And this curved region, curved upper border is called iliac crust. When you keep your hand on the hip, it actually rests on iliac crust. From the front view, you can see two pointy bones, two sharp bones called anterior superior iliac spine. And the second one is called anterior inferior iliac spine. From the back side of the pelvic bone, it is called posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. In the front wise, it is called anterior superior anterior inferior from the back side it is called posterior superior posterior inferior ichium in ichium this bone is very important this part of bone and this is called ichial tuberosity when we sit we rest on ichial tuberosity and next in posterior region you can see a pointy bone and this is called ichial spine ETM has very important function at the time of delivery. When the baby passes through this way, baby's head is internally rotated and that function is taken place at this ETM. At the time of delivery, baby's head is internally rotated at ETM. If the baby's head is unable to pass through this way, then we use forceps to get the baby out. Even this function is performed at the ECM. 
in innominated bone the smallest bone is known as pubis in this pubis there are two projection the upper projection is known as superior ramus and the down projection is known as inferior ramus two pubic bone meet at a point known as pubic symphysis from the anterior view you can see a hole here and this is called obturator foramen now sacrum sacrum is a five fused vertebrae structure and it is in wedge shape wedge shape in the sense v, v shape first bone of the sacrum has a curved boundary and this boundary is called sacral promontory and beside this there is a halo like structured bone and this is called halo of sacrum and above that there are two wings which are called as wings of sacrum or ulna and below that you can see there are four holes here these four holes are known as foramen now coccyx and this region it is in triangle in shape and it is four fused vertebrae and the main function of this coccyx is it moves backwards at the time of delivery it moves backwards at the time of delivery and give way for a child to move out i will provide questions after completing this whole chapter that's it for today guys let's meet in the next video until then stay tuned